Hello and welcome to NSN Connect and this is the third episode in the series on school level vocational education where we are in conversation with Professor Vinay Swaroop Mehrotra and we are discussing few important aspects of the upcoming changes in the school level curriculum concerning the vocational education. And if you have watched the first and second episodes, you would have got an overview of the high level points that we discussed so far and in today's episode we are going to focus on NEP 2020 that's the national education policy which is recommending very strongly about the need to mainstream vocational education this is one of the key recommendations but there are many more so let's go ahead and learn from professor Mehrotra what the other recommendations are and how we can go ahead and implement them to make the school level vocational education most impactful. So uh, do you think NEP 2020 is going to be a game changer in terms of school level adoption? And uh, what are some of the key initiatives from PSSCIV Bhopal, uh, both in terms of, uh, uh, you know, helping the schools implement the vocational curriculum and also probably uh, help teachers also become uh, vocational teachers and you know make them more competent and make it attractive and aspirational for them to be in this profession uh, yes uh, it's a national education policy 2020 is going to be a game changer uh, not just at the school level but also at the college or university level. Hmm. Why I'm saying so? Because it has set the targets. As we all know that uh, the National Education Policy 2020 has set the target of uh, achieving 50% of diversification or inclusion of these uh, students uh, through the school and higher education um, into the vocational education uh, mm. by 2025. Now that's a gigantic task. I would say it's a Herculean task, but right. we need to work towards that for achieving that. And it is possible if we take those steps which are required in terms of infrastructure development, in terms of creating awareness about the importance of vocational education training, in terms of uh, preparing teachers, particularly uh, for the training of the students on vocational skills, on employability skills, on life skills, and 21st century skills. So all this is possible. But it's going to happen if we are ready for that. So mm -hmm. the national education policy, I would say, has the potential to be a game changer in school level vocational education in India. And it recognizes the importance of vocational education training in preparing students for the workforce and addresses uh, many of those challenges that have in the, hindered the growth or we were very much concerned about those challenges. Now, some of the ways in which national education policy 2020 uh, can bring about uh, the RIS follows. Integration. So for first one, I would say integration of vocational education into the mainstream education. Mm. This is a very important recommendation which the NEP 2020 has given to us. Why it is very important? Because we should provide opportunity to every child to opt for skill development. Because as we all know, skills are very important today. Uh, not just for the jobs, but for a, a quality living. Yeah. For, you know, if I give an example, we go for jobs to some other place. Now, if we have learned how to cook, for example, making tea or khichri or any other like rice, dal and all those things, vegetables, then we will be independent. So for independent living, living skills are very important. The same applies for life skills. Now, if we are able to cope up with the stress, because we have to uh, do our work at the workplace and also 
we have to look uh, the at home also the various activities at home like gardening and cooking and all those things so maintaining a balance between the workplace and home or home life is a challenge so people undergo stress because of that they are not able to do that time management or stress management and all those things so uh, it's very important that besides general education or subject oriented education we need to also impart those skills which will help students to cope up with the life stresses. The third very important aspect, as we know that now technology is the main thing which is driving not just the education but other sectors. So everyone needs to learn how to use uh, digital resources, means ICT literacy has to be there. Then they also need to learn how to use computers, how to use different software, um, the online learning, uh, then uh, the artificial intelligence, machine learning, all those things are changing the world of work. So we, we need to learn about all these things. So how, how we can do that? We need to provide resources for learning. And this is being done. Uh, at the government as well as the private level. So this is what the NEP has really uh, promoted through its uh, recommendations, that we need to reduce the stigma associated uh, with it by integrating vocational education into the mainstream education. The second very important recommendation which is, it has made is uh, the introduction of vocational uh, courses from class six onwards or the grade it has used the term grade six so we need to use uh, or we need to uh, provide opportunities to the students for free vocational education uh, for activities during the bagless days for internship programs so all these opportunities have to be provided at an early age to our students at the school level so this will help students with early exposure to vocational education and training and they will be able to make informed career choice right they can then also plan their career pathway so we need to provide a basket of subjects from which students can choose and build their own syllabi uh, in terms of what they want to learn so the focus has to be on learning or learning outcomes rather than the learning objectives, which we have been doing over the years. Flexibility in course selection has to be provided. And this has been emphasized in the National Education Policy 2020. So that is why now we are talking of the National Credit Framework. The right. National Council for Vocational Education and Training has been instrumental in developing this uh, national credit framework along with the other uh, institutions or organizations like university grants commission aicp ncrt all these are the cbsc they were all involved in uh, developing this uh, national credit framework which is now available on the website of ncvt now this actually with the implementation of this national credit framework students will get uh, better choices more choices, diverse choices in terms of subjects that they can offer for. And we can also now implement the credit-based system through this the national credit framework in schools, uh, which, were not, which was not there earlier. So this will actually help students to build their career trajectory and also decide on the subjects that they would like to offer for, uh, as part of their career plan. Then uh, it has also recommended uh, to promote multidisciplinary approach to education, particularly in the higher education, where we can see that research has been neglected for all these years. And if you look at other countries like China, Germany, Switzerland, they focus a lot on doing researches, hmm. not in just in general education, but also in vocational education. So a lot of innovation has taken place because of the research and development in these universities, colleges. 
So I have been to South Korea to, to the private universities uh, where I've seen that they take projects from the industry and they work on those, those students work on those projects and they deliver on a time bound basis and they get funds for that. This is like the self-sustaining projects that we need to build on uh, in colleges and universities so that uh, the students, they don't just develop those skills and knowledge that, that is required in the industry, but also they will be able to develop that kind of habit of delivering things on time, the punctuality, the discipline, uh, the output oriented or outcome oriented uh, projects. So all those things will happen together. So this will help students become uh, well-rounded individuals who are prepared for the challenges of the 21st century workforce. Yeah. Uh, another very important aspect which has been highlighted in the National Education Policy 2020 is the importance of teacher training. Uh, in promoting vocational education. And it has talked about continuous professional development of teachers. So at least 50 hours of CPD has to be in place and NCRT has already issued the guidelines for this CPD of 50 hours. So teachers will have to be trained to deliver vocational courses effectively. You know, as, as of now, we are still struggling to get competent teachers who are well-trained, who are practitioners, those who have industry experiences, all these things have to be taken care of uh, in the future. So we need to have programs where teachers, even the BA teachers, they go to the industry, they learn the industry skills, they learn on the job, they undergo apprenticeship training, and then they come back to the schools for vocational education and training. This is uh, very much needed to ensure that the students receive high quality training and education. And also this will help in reducing the gap between the demand and supply of skills. Now, one of the very important aspect I would like to highlight here is, uh, which has also been emphasized in the National Education Policy 2020, that we need to partner with the industry and educational institutions uh, to help ensure that vocational courses are aligned with the needs of the job market. We have not been able to do much in this regard, although many agencies like, you know, if I name so CII, FICCI, SOHM, uh, many business uh, associations, uh, they have actually helped students to acquire the skills and knowledge. Even the industries also have come forward, particularly yeah. in the IT industry. And they have been able to succeed in providing skill development opportunities, both to the workforce as well as the students. But much needs to be done. And I would like to mention here that the PSS Central Institute of Vocational Education, which is located at Bhopal, and it's a constituent unit of NCRT. Uh, NCRT, as you all know, is under the Ministry of Education Government of India, has taken several initiatives to facilitate the implementation of the national education policy 2020 in the area of vocational education. Uh, like contributing to the development of the national curriculum framework on school education, developing curricula and textbooks to meet the needs of the new and future skills. So we are now introducing courses in uh, Kisan drone operator for, for the job role of Kisan drone operator, uh, for the job role of multi-rotor uh, drone operator, in aerospace and aviation. Uh, we are also introducing courses on IoT, uh, you know, electric vehicle. So, uh, so these are some of the new and emerging areas in which we are now developing courses. We have a wide range of uh, training that we are providing in terms of uh, curriculum development, pedagogy, assessment, evaluation, uh, vocational skills, so domain-specific skills training are also being provided by PSSEIB to the teachers. We are also conducting training programs for the key functionaries because that's very important to orient them yeah. on the various aspects of implementation of the vocational education program. We are also promoting entrepreneurship education by organizing lecture sessions 
by inviting entrepreneurs in our programs uh, and uh, asking them to you know orient the students about the importance of entrepreneurship how they started their own business or enterprise and what are the challenges that they are facing and how they could overcome all these challenges uh, to become a successful entrepreneur. So one of the very important aspects which has also been highlighted in the national education policy and PSSCIV is already doing that is uh, the collaboration with various organizations, including industry bodies and vocational training providers to promote the growth and development of vocational education in India. And these collaborations and networking ensures that vocational education is aligned with the needs of the job market, uh, particularly promoting the employability and entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. In this episode, you have seen how some of the critical recommendations from NEP 2020 are going to get implemented and how PSS CIV Bhopal is playing an important role in taking up some of them, especially as we discuss the idea of bagless days, how it should be implemented and the guidelines which have been proposed by them. I'm sure you have found this episode quite useful in getting a gist of the recommendations. In case you wish to know more, you can directly write to Professor Vinay Swaroop Mehrotra or write to us. It would be great to hear from you and in case you need any help to understand more, we are always there. But at the same time, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any update from us. Thank you so much. I look forward to meet you in the next episode.